Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be using uh, bracket notation to find the last character in a string. This is kind of interesting. Um, JavaScript does this funny, but uh, in order to get the last letter of a string, you can subtract uh, one, the like a single, uh, you know, numeral from the length of the string. So if there's a string like uh, eta would be have a string length of three. And so if we look for the position at three minus one. We're looking for the position at two, and that'll get us that. So zero, one, two, you get the letter A. I hope that makes sense. For example, if um, the first name is Charles, you can get the, the value of the last letter of the string by using first name. So you're saying first name, which is the variable, which is equal to Charles. And that's first name dot length, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to equal out to seven, and then we're going to say minus one. So this is going to equal out to six. And so what we're doing is finding the first name at position six, which is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. I hope that helps. Um, use, so we want to use bracket notation to find the last character of last name variable. Last name variable is here. We want to say the last letter of last name, and we're going to set that equal to <clears throat> last name dot length minus one. And uh, if we console.log this variable, you'll see that it's E, which comes out, it turns out to be right because uh, Lovelace. Um, so let's look at that, last name dot length. What happens if we console log last name dot length? We get eight. If we do eight minus one, we've got seven. And so the position at seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, to make this even simpler, what we could do is actually add the string in there. Because remember, the string is simply carrying the variable. So this will actually get us the E, which is the right number. So when we say last name at last name dot length minus one, you can see Loveless is actually taking this place. So instead of last name, we're just placing the variable there. Um, yeah. Uh, we, if you say we could made it negative two, we'd get C, which is this number. If we ma made it negative three, what would it be? A, right? And so that's how we can get that. And remember, last name uh, dot length. Let's say we made it um, to s there. If say we wanted to just uh, count it up, zero or one or yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This basically is just eight. So it's eight minus one is equal to seven, which gives us E. Um, so yeah, this comes to seven. I'm just reiterating this multiple times because I'm trying to make the point really clear. So we're just finding Loveless at position seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that gives us E. And yeah, that passes the test. I hope that going in, into more detail here helps you guys. Um, and I'll see you in the next lesson.